All right, so a typical amount of ivy leaves that you want to collect is 40 to 100 because they're different sizes. And this will be enough to make a quart, about a quart size of detergent. I've been doing it now for over two years and I make enough to last my family about a month or more sometimes. So I fill up two Publix or Walmart grocery size bags and I eyeball it, it's not exact. Um, even if I get like some of the stems in there, that's fine. But that'll last me a month and it makes about five gallons of detergent for us. Next step is just going to be to give them a light wash or rinse just to get any bugs or debris off of them. You can leave them outside before coming in or let them just sit out for a little bit to get the, the bugs will just crawl off of them. Um, but I like to give them a light wash before getting them to the boil. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, you don't have to give them a vigorous wash because you're gonna be boil boiling them next and then straining it. So it's not that serious, just, just kind of knock stuff off beforehand. Now that the leaves are all rinsed off, we're gonna start cutting them up and putting them in the pot. And I used to do this job, but my hand would cramp up a lot. Um, so now my kind husband does it for me. So when you're cutting it, there's no art to it. You're just literally cutting them up. Some people put in a food processor. Um, I don't really find that necessary. You're just, you're just exposing more surface. And either way, there's a lot of sap in it in this plant to where any cut's gonna help. Even without the cut, it's gonna, you're gonna get the detergent from it. So I used to do the cutting with clippers and then they went missing. I don't know what happened to them. We just haven't gotten new ones since. So we use these kind of cheapo scissors. Um, so if you have something better, it'll make the job a lot faster. And now that they're all cut, you just wanna fill her up with water. So if you did that um, 60 to 100 leaves, or 40 to 100 leaves, whatever it was, you would do a quart, about a quart of water for that. Um, because I'm doing it this way, I just fill it up um, to where it's just completely filled, almost at the top, and to where when it bubbles, it won't go over. Now you're just gonna put her on the stove and cover her up, and then you're gonna wanna set it to medium, medium high, just to get it to a boil, because once it's boiling, you'll bring it down and Set that timer for 20 minutes so it can simmer. And you will want to keep an eye on it. Um, as you see mine, I feel mine really high. So I'll have to just go ahead and push this down. No big deal. Um, but yeah, just want to keep an eye on that because it could go over. So yeah, just push it down and cover it back up and let it finish off. After it's done, you can let it cool for a moment to put it into an airtight container for at least four hours or overnight. I used to put it into an airtight container, like in a glass jar and then with the lid on there tightly when I was making a lot less. Um, but now that I'm doing it in the quantity that I do it in, I just leave it in the pot with the lid on overnight. Um, when I mention you can do it as little as four hours, it's because after that time frame, you can start using the detergent immediately if you wanted. Um, I usually just let it sit overnight. And then we just start the straining process. Um, oh, and when I say put it in an airtight container, I'm saying the liquid and the leaf. So everything that you boiled, you're putting into a, a glass jar or something to help it sit and, and get some more sap in and out of that. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna go ahead and strain it. And these are the jars that I use. These are gallon sized glass jars that I just got off Amazon. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze that through, get all the detergent out of there, every last little drop of it. Oh, and I did wanna mention that some people are sensitive to um, ivy leaves or like some plants that you can cause contact dermatitis, kind of like how poison ivy can cause a reaction on some people. Um, so you may want to use gloves doing this, I've never had any issues, or if, if I did, I never noticed them. So I just, I pick them with my hands and I squeeze them and touch the detergent and everything. And I've, I've never had any issues with them. Neither has any of our family or our kids doing the same process, um, but just so you know. That little green funnel that I'm using, we got a few years ago when we had first gotten into canning. Um, I think it came with like a canning kit from Walmart or maybe Amazon, um, but you can get that. You can use any funnel um, for that. And then if you get some leaves in there, it's not a big deal. Um, it won't affect your laundry or anything. Um, but when you go to pour out a cup, when you're doing your laundry, you can always take it out then, or um, I don't really do anything about it, I kind of just let it go.
once you get down to the end, we've got all the liquid out. I'll you just go and put the leaves on top and squeeze them out because there's still a good bit of detergent left in those leaves. So I just squeeze them so all this out. This is how it looks once it's finished and I use it the way it is. I like the foresty smell that it has, but you can add essential oils if you want a different smell. And I pour it into this jar to make pouring easier. So you can use it right away. Um, otherwise it has to be refrigerated. Um, they say it lasts a few weeks. Mine lasts over a month. So just keep an eye on it.